Hello, everybody. As you can see, I got my prepper hat on today because I want to talk a little bit about the coronavirus. Um, I've been doing a little research on it, um, looking at some of the numbers and trying to get an idea of when is this thing going to end? Like, how long are we going to be going through this? Um, now, the, the honest answer is nobody knows, including me. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea when this is going to end. Um, however, we can make some, we can take a look at other data and we can try and make projections based on something at least. Okay. So I'm going to, I want to go through that for a second. And I'm going to look specifically at China. Now there's reasons to doubt the Chinese data, but you know, let's, let's go with it. Let's see what it says. And also let's take a look at South Korea. South Korea's data is much more reliable. And, uh, I think, I think we can take a look at it. So let's go ahead and uh, delve into this real quick. So <clears throat> as we look at this, what I'm looking at here is, okay, we got China. When did they start taking serious action on the coronavirus? Okay. Cause my question is this, my, my assumption is when we start taking serious action, it will begin to have an effect. Now, these are my rough estimated dates of when they really started to take it seriously and go after it um, with, you know, shutdowns and things like that. Now, China being a more authoritarian country, they were able to jump on a little quicker. In the US, that can be a little trickier. However, um, so anyway, about January 24th, at that time, they had about 1,200 cases in the country, at least that were reported. Maybe that was higher, I don't know. But that's ballpark where they started. Now, it's interesting. When we look at their curve, and let me uh, pull this over real quick for us. Okay, this, this is why China matters, okay? You can actually see that their total cases went up, whoop, and then it flatlined. This is what we want. We want to see it where the cases aren't growing anymore, where the deaths aren't growing. And as you can see, there was a time when it was really growing and then it sunk off. That's the curve everyone's talking about. Here it is. It goes up and then it goes down. And we can use them as sort of a model to figure out, okay, well, how did it go in their country? And then check it out. We can also check some other countries as well. But I just want to go through that. So um, what happened was is that they began to take action around the 24th. I said the 24th, maybe it was the 25th. So somewhere around about, you know, I put in here what I put, about 1,200 cases, maybe 1,500 cases were there. Okay. Now what happened was they started taking serious action. And then about 21 to 25 days later, about the 15th through the 20th, you notice that their curve slows down. It really starts to make a difference. So they started here taking action, went through a few weeks of craziness, but then because of the action they took, it takes a couple of weeks for the virus to spread. But then those actions started to actually have effects as people, you know, got over the, the virus and then it began to flatten out. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about here. Okay, when did they take action? And then when did they begin to see results from that action? Now, South Korea, they really started taking serious action about February 24th when they only had 850 cases. They were right next door to China. They said, we're not messing with this. And they did a great job, tons of testing all over it. Very good response. And then that, they were only like 14 days later, March 6th through the 10th, they were starting to see their curve slow down. So right on. Good job, Italy. Now, here's the thing. We're only about maybe 15 to 20 days into when Italy started taking action. What's interesting is that Italy's cases were pretty low when they started taking those actions, which is kind of surprising. However, we don't know how great that data is. We do know that they had a lot of people come over from China, that they hadn't shut down Chinese travel like we did, which is good. Um, and so there might've been a lot more cases than that. However, as we look at it, I'm now I'm estimating. We don't know. Italy right now is continuing to go up. They're continuing to grow. The number of uh, daily new cases, as you can see here, have been going up and up and up and up and up and woo, they're getting really scary now. Okay. 4,000 new cases in a day is nuts. Now, here's the thing I think I'm seeing right now, or that we're going to see here in the near future. I don't think this thing's going to keep climbing up to here. I think what's going to happen is, is that when we get over into this area, into the 25th, whatever, I think it's going to start to flatten out. It may be flattening out somewhat as far as the number of new cases a day. Now, I don't know that. We'll see how it goes. But if they if they follow the schedule roughly that China did, they started taking serious action about February 27th. Um, 
they, and maybe there were more cases there. Cause one thing is that they, they might've had people coming from China for a long time, you know, between until the 27th. So I, I don't know, but I'm going to estimate for them. I'm going to go a little bit more than China. And I'm going to say sometime here in, in about next week, I think we're going to start to see Italy flatten out. I hope if we get past the 25th of this month and Italy's still climbing, if this, uh, if this graph here is continuing to go up and up, it's going to get a little scary. All right. So let's go back here and take a look. So I think Italy, we're going to start to see in about a week and a half, hopefully it's curve start to flatten, which would be right in that 25 to 28 day mark, which would put them on par with China. And that would be, that'll give us three countries that will now know when the curve slowdown date. So the next thing to watch for, the big thing to watch for is to watch Italy. When is Italy going to flatten out? They've taken measures. They started taking it in early March. We're now in mid-March. Late March, we're hoping to see those results. We get into April and they're still having crazy growth. Ah, that's going to be scary. So, uh, but I predict it's going to begin and that will give us a benchmark because then we'll have three countries that all had a certain amount of time that we can gauge our own uh, slowdown on. So what about us? Well, we started, this is when uh, Trump declared, I think it was a national emergency, was on March 14th. I mean, it was, I forget what he declared it exactly, but that was March 14th. Uh, the next day I didn't go to church because our church had been shut down, all that kind of stuff. So we started taking serious action ballpark about March 14th is when we, we started getting serious about this. So in the last four days, we've really gone pretty hardcore. So when are we going to start seeing the results of these actions we're taking? Well, I'm going to estimate somewhere between 20 and 30 days. Okay. That's going to be my guess. Uh, you know, that's, that's somewhere between China and Italy uh, or my estimate for Italy. I don't think we're going to be as good as, uh, as South Korea. Um, but hopefully we get on it and we make stuff happen. So that means we got 20 to 30 days here. That means somewhere around April 5th to the 15th, I think we're going to start to see this thing, uh, get under control. We're all of a sudden going to see, they're going to be like, it's not growing anymore. We think we're hitting at the top. And then I, I'm going to say, I, now what does that result in the number of cases? Well, the number of cases, I think we're going to see in the U S I think we're going to top China. China's around 88,000. I think we're going to go over a hundred thousand. And maybe even as high as 200,000 if we really stretch it out to the 15th and we don't slow this thing down enough. Because the big question is how serious are our actions? South Korea, real serious. China, they took real serious action. Italy, they are now, but they took a while to get there, which maybe is why we're seeing the higher numbers. I think we're kind of somewhere in between there. Um, there's some different factors in America, whatever you want. But I think we're going to see somewhere between 100 and 200,000. I think we're going to see 20 to 40,000 hospitalizations. I think we're going to see deaths somewhere in the 1,000 to 5,000 range. Could I be totally wrong? Absolutely. Okay. These are my best guesses based on sort of this model of looking at what's happening with China and South Korea. Um and hoping that that same thing results here. Now, I think just kind of for your own benefit, we're going to panic for the next, basically from now till early April. It's going to be nuts. Everyone's going to be panicked. It's going to be bad economy. Everyone's going to be freaking out. The thing is, is at some point in early April, we're going to see the curve start to flatten. And that is when we're first going to start to go, okay, we think we're on top of it. I think that we're going to start seeing numbers actually come down during, from mid-April to May. I think that's when we're going to start seeing numbers coming down and that's when everything's going to start coming back online. I think that in May, in early May, we're going to start seeing things come online again fast. I think the economy is going to start to recover fast. I think May and June are going to be great months, economic recovery, things are going to be held down. And by July, we should be pretty much back to normal. That's going to be my guess is how this whole thing is going to play out. Could be wrong. I don't know, you know, it's gonna, there is going to be an up curve and a down curve. Okay. That is just a reality of the way that this works. However, the timing on it, we don't know. These are my best guesses based off of these two, China and South Korea. Let's hope we see Italy start to flatten because that should give us another country that should be able to validate this model. Okay. So as we come down here, the one other thing we got to worry about is a second spike. Watch China, watch South Korea in the coming weeks. Do they start to see a resurgence? Is this going to happen again? Okay. Let's say we get through April, we get this thing down and all of a sudden in May, we start to see a resurgence. Well, a couple of hopes for that if it were to happen. One, that they'd be isolated. It'd be a particular state that would begin to see an outbreak. They'd lock in that state. They'd go all crazy with everything again in that state. 
but it wouldn't be nationwide. The economic effects wouldn't be as broad. We'd be able to kind of isolate it and, and take targeted attacks on the, on the virus rather than kind of this whole, we got to lock down the whole freaking world. Also at that time, hopefully we'll have more resources, medicines that works, a vaccine, and I think the panic level will be much lower. And hopefully we can, again, get on top of the curve quick. We'll have testing kits, everything, you know, we'll just be much more prepared for a second spike. So I think we can kind of nip those spikes in the bud the same way that South Korea did with theirs. That's, that's kind of my hope. And I think, yeah, we might have a spike pop up. Uh, I don't think the virus is totally going away until uh, maybe the fall. I, I don't know. Um, uh, who knows when it's really going to truly be like, we don't think about it anymore. But I, I, I do think that the, this is what the spike will look like. I think this is what the timetables will look like. And we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, I could be totally wrong. These predictions could be way off, but they're the best I have right now. Right now, what I'm watching, I'm watching Italy. I want to see Italy level off. I'm hoping tomorrow when I look at the numbers that they're flat. And then the next day they're flat again. And then we get another day when it's flat again. And we'll start to say, okay, I think they're flattening out their curve. And if that's what's happening and the virus isn't growing and expanding, I think we're headed in good territory. But uh, I'm estimating that probably won't start happening until, uh, you know, probably the 22nd to 25th, roughly. So the next, just just be aware for the next, we're, we're, we're going to be in panic mode here for at least probably till the end of the month. So hang in there, buckle up and, uh, stay safe, wash your hands, stay away from old people. And, uh, yeah, that's it.